มาอ๋อนี่ยูรุโตอ๋อนี่ยูเลบะเด็กละมาอ๋อนี่ยูรุโตอ๋อนี่ยูเลบะ is mean that according to ดอดดอด something in Japanese when you use the grammar of นี่ยูรุโตอ๋อนี่ยูเลบะ is mean that you can use the noun only That means you should start by your noun and after that follow by ni y o r u t o or ni y o r e ba. That means according to to what to the noun, right? So your noun what have what is the meaning that your noun expressing? So according to the noun, something like this. And uh, when you use the grammar of ni y o r u t o or ni y o r e ba, it means according to. But sometimes it can be translated by if, right? So, but in this case, they don't translate to be if; they translate to be according to. So, to make more understand, let's go to see some example together. The first example: Tenki yoho ni yoru to ashita wa ame da so desu. Tenki yoho ni yoru to ashita wa ame da so desu. Which means, according to the weather report tomorrow, it looks like it will rain. According to the weather report tomorrow, it looks like it will rain. In this time, you see that uh, they use uh, um yoru to be the noun tenki yoho. Tenki yoho is mean the uh, weather report. The weather report every day, right? So, for example, today. So you can you want to know about the weather tomorrow? You should uh, look at the weather report because they use the uh, the star, right? The star from the moon to uh, forecast to for forecast, right? To report about the weather tomorrow. So in this sentence, our noun is thank you ho. It means weather report, and we u s e ni y o r o t o is mean according to, right? So the last m i n u I already said that according to the noun, but in now in here the weather report, so we say according to the weather report, and after that you start by new sentence. Ashita wa ame da so des, which means tomorrow it looks like it will rain. Something like this. The next example. Watashi no kita kotokoro ni yoru to kare wa wakare so da. Watashi no kita tokoro ni yoru to kare wa wakare so da. Which means that according to what I heard, they have broken up. According to what I heard, they have broken up. In this sentence, uh, they say, you know, now here they say, what is she no kita tokoro ni yoru to? That mean, uh, in our now is here is a quite long, right? What is she no kita tokoro? Is mean that what I heard from, right? What I heard from ni yoru to, which mean according to what I heard from. Or uh, maybe you sometimes, you sometimes you already asked, uh. The person, that person, right? So you get some information. So you can say according to the information that you heard or you already asked that body, right? So you can say to another person that kare la ba ba kare so da. That means they have broken up, something like this. The next example. Sen se no hanashi ni yoru to kono bunko wa JLPT no testo ni deru kano se ga hikui desu. Sen se no hanashi ni yoru to kono bunko wa JLPT no testo ni deru kano se ga wa hikui desu. Which means that according to the teacher, this grammar point is unlikely to appear on the JLPT. According to the teacher, this grammar point is unlikely to appear on the JLPT. In this uh, sentence, uh, 
we will see that they use the grammar of Niyoto with the noun Sensei no Hanashi. Sensei no Hanashi is mean uh, the teacher story, right? That what teacher are uh, tell about is mean Sensei no Hanashi. So what teacher tell about? So in here that mean uh, the teacher have experience about uh, test for therapy many many years. He see and he already teach about uh, therapy test. So uh, he or she, the teacher know about the therapy. So that after you ask the teacher and teacher tell you some story about therapy. So you can say sensei no hanashi, which means according to uh, the teacher, right? Sensei ni yoroto is mean according to the teacher story or teacher tell about. Konobunpo wa and the name you start by new sentence. Konobunpo is mean this grammar. Wa JLPT no testo ni delikano se wa hikui. This means this grammar point is unlikely to appear on the JLPT. The next example. Sensei ni hanashi ni yoru to lainen no daikaku. Juken wa moto musukashi ku naru rashi. Sensei no hanashi ni yoru to lainen no daikaku juken wa moto musukashi ku naru rashi. Which means that according to my teacher, next year's university entrance exam is going to be more difficult. According to my teacher, next year's university entrance exam is going to be more difficult. In this sentence, you see that uh, this sentence just lies the last sentence that they said. Uh, sensei ni, sensei no hanashi ni yoruto. That means according to the teacher, to my teacher, right? So sensei no hanashi is mean what a teacher told about. The story of teacher told about. Line no degaku no juken wa moto muzukashi kunari slashi. Then after that, you start by new sentence. The new sentence in here is mean uh, the next year university in train examination right? is going to be more difficult. So that means when you use ni uh, to or ni ba. That means you have uh, some information from somewhere, right? So you act, so you according to uh, that information to improve to show that uh, the possible you be the possible you be. So you have some information from somewhere that uh, believe about, and you get uh, show that information to the person. You want to uh, save it and uh, you can say the next sentence about what will happen if the according to this something like this when you use the grammar of ni yoru to. Thank you much for watching my video clip and please help me subscribe my channel if you haven't i hope to see you about learning japanese in the next time arigatou gozaimashita